channel guys uh, today we're gonna take a look at this 1916 dated SMLE or the short magazine Lee Enfield number one mark three now the SMLE or the short magazine Lee Enfield um, this guy was in production from 1904 uh, until after a little bit after World War one I. Um, I should say it was in service from 1904 until uh, after World War one this is the predecessor to the MLE, or the Magazine Lee Enfield. Uh, the major difference being this nose cap being cut off with the bayonet lug on it, having kind of like a bulldog look, I guess. And I think the barrel is about five inches shorter than on the MLE. Uh, this is not quite as short as the carbine version. I think this is, again, about four and a half inches or so longer than the carbine, but about five inches longer than the full-size MLE. Um, this guy's a, all the Lee Enfields are a bolt action rifle that primarily fired 303 British. The SMLE, it has a 10 round box magazine that is technically detachable, but primarily for cleaning purposes. It's not like guys were issued uh, 10 round magazines when their gear, like you would with an AR-15 or a AK-47 or such. Uh, they were still, you would open up the bolt and they were top loaded with five round charger clips or stripper clips. And even up on here, there's a little notch, you know, machined into the top of the receiver for you to put that charger clip in, put the five rounds in, get you, and then you do it twice. So it was capable of holding 10 rounds, which is kind of crazy for, you know, 1914 to 1918, if you think about it. The 1917 Enfield, um, that only fire, eh, it's capable of holding six rounds, but you only got five round stripper clips. The 1903, five rounds. The uh, Mauser was five rounds. Um, so having a 10 round was definitely a force multiplier, especially if you can really quickly shoot this. Uh, I haven't fired this yet. This is still fairly new to me, but if you could shoot this as quick as you can, that 1917, man, that's a... 10 round magazines can be beneficial. Um, <clears throat> so this guy, this particular rifle, this one was made in 1916 and I just picked it up maybe a couple weeks ago. Uh, it needed just a little bit of cleaning but it wasn't too terrible. But you can see there is the magazine, the bolt action, like I said. And then I'm gonna show you, so we are empty, there's nothing in here. I'm gonna show you that front end and that little nub there in the front, right there, that's where the bayonet would lock into. The handle would go in there, and the barrel ring would go right on top of that guy. Now, the one thing I do love about this rifle so far, compared to, um, I think, the other three bolt guns I have, is when you pull the bolt out, you don't have to push the magazine in to bring it forward. On the 1917, the 1903, and the K98 I have, all of them, you can't push the bolt forward unless you push the magazine down. This, you don't have to do that, which I'm a big fan of, personally. Um, I know it's not the biggest deal in the world, but just when you're showing it off, it's a little more convenient. Alright, so this is the first British firearm, uh, let alone the first SMLE that I've ever owned. And there's a few things that I do find kind of interesting about it. I had already mentioned the the 10 round magazine that is technically detachable. So if you look here under the, well, behind the, in front of the trigger, you've got a little magazine release. You do that and the magazine can pop out. So it's a 10 round mag, but again, it's not meant for uh, just having a, a attack vest or pouch full of them. It is meant just to top load with the with the charger clips. So that goes back in. And that's most, mostly for cleaning from, from what I understand. Now here, on the top of the receiver, you can really see that groove that is cut out for the charger clip to go in. So you just kind of put it in there, five rounds, next one, your ten rounds, and that's it. Let's see here. You've got your rear sight which is mostly pretty standard. Um, you push this guy in here and you can move your elevation, as you see, 
And then that brings it back down. And then you've got your front sight here. Pretty standard, nothing crazy or special there. One of the interesting things to me about this rifle is actually the bolt. So here, um, on a lot of rifles, uh, you've got, when you take the bolt out, it does lock in, but then you usually have like a lever of some sort that you would kind of pull out and the bolt would come out or release it. This is a little bit different. I found it unique just because, again, uh, this is the first SMLE or Lee Enfield I've had, so this is all kind of new to me. So I thought it was interesting. To get the bolt out of the, the receiver, you actually take this piece here and flip it up, and it clicks into place, and then the bolt just comes straight out. Easy peasy. Now when you're putting the bolt back in, you put it, butt it up against that, and then you push that down, but you have to pull the bolt out just a tiny bit. You have to create that little gap right there. So you can see, you can see that. So no gap, gap. And if you don't do that, you won't be able to push that piece down like you need to. So you gotta have that little gap, then that clicks in, and then this just closes. Now, like I was kind of showing you on that 1917, this is a little more stiff too. It's really got some spring there. Now, when you're going fast, it doesn't really matter, but when you're just kind of slowly, it's kind of surprising. You're like, huh, well, you have to really put some effort into that to bring that down. And then, like on the 1917, the safety is very similar. Um, the only difference is this is on the left side versus the right side. On the 1917, it is on the right side. Um, you just take that little lever and boom. And that would be your safety if this was uh, chambered and, and ready to go. You have that little lever right there. And then, boom. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a bayonet for this. Uh, even though it would look just like the two M1917 bayonets up there, except it wouldn't have the two grooves in the handles. Um, and like the, the bayonet that I've got uh, for the Trend Shotgun and the M1917 Enfield, it would look identical, except for the barrel ring on the guard it would be a little bit different sizing and a little bit different distance, and there wouldn't be the two grooves in the wooden handle. But I digress. So just give you guys a little. Again, this is uh, completely empty. We have no ammunition even near here. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in guys, hope you enjoyed. Just a quick little breakdown of this SMLE, um, number one, Mark III. Um, if you guys did enjoy, please like, subscribe, comment, and hopefully in the next month or so, maybe the next couple months, I should have a pretty cool video for you guys that I'm really looking forward to, just kind of waiting on some shipping. But uh, in the next couple months, there should be a fun one. So yeah, until next time, be good.